What's up, YouTube? Pepe coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. We got some important business to discuss today, people. Uh, apparently, USPS likes to just take a dump in Captain Awesome's mouth. Um, you know, it seems like every time I send somebody something with USPS, and guys, mind you, uh, I use USPS to ship plants uh, because, you know, when you're, when you're paying for a plant, you don't really want to pay a whole bunch in shipping. You know, uh, plants just aren't that expensive. It, let's face it. Uh, so I did, well, let me rephrase, I did use USPS to ship plants, um, we'll get more on that in a minute, uh, I do want to send an apology out to my boy Logan, uh, bro, I'm sorry that package came in like that, um, I don't know if he's going to show the unpacking video, guys, but the plants, um, you know, completely just dumped in the box. Uh, he said that he watched his postman throw the box on his porch. Uh, yeah, super, super happy about that, guys. Super stoked. Uh, you can't tell my sarcasm. Uh, I am being completely sarcastic. I hate USPS. Uh, I'm not even going to use them for cheap shit anymore. Uh, so if that tells you anything, that's how mad I am. That's how upset I am. Uh, it really makes me look bad. Uh, especially when I'm sending a first shipment to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did, however, take care of my buddy Logan. Uh, I did send him a refund, guys. You all know that I stand behind my products 100%. Uh, you know, if he would have wanted uh, another plant package from me, uh, I would have sent that. If he wanted the refund, I would have sent that. Uh, he chose refund, so I sent it to him immediately, guys. Uh, so I do want to make that clear uh, that, you know, I do take care of problems like that. Uh, they don't happen often, uh, but uh, here lately, a lot of crappy things have been happening to me. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to dust it off my shoulder. I'm not even, even going to think twice about it, guys. Uh, however, I am taking a break from shipping. I think that um, I'm simply just uh, getting too caught up in the bustle of it. Uh, you know, not to say that I'm not putting my pride of ownership inside each shipment that I send out. Um, but, I mean, for some reason, uh, I've had two packages so far that just completely took a dump in Captain Awesome's mouth, okay? Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, I do take care of business, those guys, those I do take care of business though guys, uh, so if you ever want to order something from me, rest assured that you will be taken care of one way or another, whether it be a replacement or a refund. Uh, however, I am taking a break shipping uh, for a little while, you know, uh, you know, special orders, you know, it'll be a, you know, a, a, a circumstantial uh, business deal, uh, however, just know that I do not use USPS for shipping plants anymore, and if we do make some kind of deal of shipping plants, uh, the shipping is going to be a little bit more expensive, because I'm going to go with who I ship fish with, which is UPS. So, with that said, and that all aired out, guys, I just wanted to show y'all that, um, my Gorillas Blue Umbrifrum, Kronos does eat from my hand. Uh, as you can see, I have some krill in my hand right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up in the top of the tank. And we're going to come watch him take it right out of my hand there. Just like that. And uh, the female does it too, guys. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to make y'all think that I don't spend any time with the female. She does it too. So uh, there it is right there. And watch her. She's a little more timid about it, but she will take it. Don't worry. I'm still working with her a little bit. Let me back the camera up so she's not as shy. Come on, girl. Come on. Don't clown me on YouTube. Oh, well, she's going to clown me. That's okay. She can have it. Uh, but, you know what, we'll do it again with, uh, with my mail here. Come get you some krill, big boy. Here, let's watch from the top here. You can see my fingers in the water. Try to get that glare out of there. Come on, Bubba. He's still, uh, gnarling down on the first piece I gave him. Gave him a pretty, pretty big piece. There you go. So... 
we are we are hand taming uh, all of my fish, guys. I do want y'all to know that as well. Watch, excuse me, Mace. Mace, I gotta get by there, girl. Watch out. Come on. Thank you. Um, let's take a look at uh, Micro Machine. Uh, he's quick about it, so I kind of want to give y'all a. Uh... Come on, buddy. Come on. And for some reason, he always misses the first shot. Oh, it's the reflection. That's what's up. All right. Let's take it a little farther over. There you go. Uh, we are hand taming all of my fish. Uh, you know, big rig included. Uh, you know, I, I'll let y'all see me try to do big rig. Uh, but to be honest, guys, he does scare the hell out of me. Um, because he bit me once. And it does not feel good. Uh, and when he comes at it, I do jump. Actually, I'm going to stand back just, just in case, because I don't want to fall into another aquarium or anything. Come on, buddy. Take your krill. Oh, I dropped it. Well... Oh well, uh, you know, and you know, it just goes to show you the personality uh, between an Umbi and a Dovi, guys. Uh, you know, as small as these guys are, um, you know, already accepting food from my hand. Uh, you know, the female is a little more timid over here, but you know, that's going to change. Uh, and then we have uh, whatever inch uh, plus Dovi uh, that you know, thinks twice before taking food out of my hand when uh, he has no problem biting it. So, uh, that just, I mean, it just goes to show you, uh, you know, a little personality difference, uh, more personable, I think, with Umbies. Uh, you know, I still love Dovi guys, you know, I love Big Rig, um, but uh, I'm really digging the Umbies right now. Uh, you know, Micro Machine, my F1 Rio Magdalena uh, Umby from... Uh, Forest Fish Room, Cichlid Man 09's Fish Room, guys. This guy came straight out of Cichlid Man 09's Fish Room. Uh, so, I mean, just check out the awesomeness that's being done over in that fish room. Um, and then I got a, I got an order in today. Um, well, not necessarily an order, but... Well, yeah, I guess it was an order. It wasn't from a business or anything, but... Uh, I got some Hygrophilia uh, Coriambosa that is actually, um, has its water leaves. Uh, I got some uh, Dwarf Sag. Uh, I got a ton of Dwarf Sag. And, uh, you know, I, I go by, guys, uh, just know this, that, um, you know, as far as YouTube name goes, uh, once I meet you, uh, more often than not, guys, you're going to be called by your uh, given name by me. Um, you know, once I meet you and we do business uh, and I become acquainted with you, I think it's more respectful to say your name over your, new, over your YouTube name. Uh, that's why you hear me say Forest uh, more often than Cichlid Man 09. Um, but I got these plants from Terry Rainey today. Uh, you know, did an awesome job packaging. Uh, I mean, and he said it was his first time, guys, but you know what? It looked like he had been packaging and shipping plants for uh, decades. I mean, these plants came in perfect condition. You can see the, the high grow right there. You can see some more high grow right there that I got. Uh, a few um, rooted clippings. And let me show you the dwarf sag. Uh, sent me a ton of this, by the way, guys. Uh, he, I think he still may have some. Uh, for sale, so definitely hit him up. Uh, but just look at that, guys. I mean, nice, healthy, beautiful root structures, just awesome dwarf sag. Uh, I have it, you know, inside my shrimp tank right now. Uh, as y'all know, um, I am getting ready to do that planted tank, believe it or not, I'm doing a little mapping out right there, as a matter of fact. Um, but Oh, uh, one last update on this tank. Um, you know, what I was trying with the dwarf baby tears on the bottom wasn't working out. Uh, I noticed a little bit of die off. Uh, you can, let me see if I can get it to focus. You can see a few little brown spots, like right there, and then over in this area right there, and right there. Um, that's the thing with dwarf baby tears, guys. 
if uh, I'm sorry if I'm kind of stepping weird I'm trying not to step on my iPad but uh, with dwarf baby tears they die really quick if they don't get what they need um, so I mean the the new ones that I got in from Peabody's Paradise uh, you can see they're doing they're still doing exceptional uh, still perking up did get a little bit of die off because you know I wanted to try something that was foolish and it didn't work so I immediately fixed it uh, I got all the pots uh, you know I'd say I say the lowest part of any one of those plants is no more than two inches away from uh, these marine land uh, dual T5 fixtures um, you know it's not the best light in the world they're definitely gonna love my uh, Damn, I'm just stepping on stuff. They're definitely going to love the light fixture that's going over that 50 long. Um, and uh, I also have a surprise for y'all. Uh, I'm getting um, some stuff in the mail uh, sometime soon. It's going to be a surprise from one of my buddies on YouTube. Um, actually, there's going to be two surprises. Uh, I got another buddy on YouTube that's sending me some stuff, so... Uh, but this one, it's going to be another planted tank. Um, I have some stuff coming uh, as a substrate, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Y'all know what it is when I get it, because I will do an unboxing and tell y'all all about it, because I'm super pumped. Um, but, yeah, so uh, we'll give Micro Machine uh, another, another krill here, and uh, we'll call that a good video, guys. Um, you know, do all the regular stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking, and, uh, let me know what y'all think about USPS, guys, um, you know, just let me know what y'all think about them, any bad, good experiences, if y'all just love them, or if you just can't stand them like me, uh, you know, that's interesting why he does that, um, but, yeah, just, you know, let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, you know, I, I just really, I'm really not digging USPS at all, even for the cheap stuff, like I said. Um, but, with that said, guys, this is what I'm doing, this is what I've done. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for disliking. And uh, either way, guys, I appreciate the view, and we'll see y'all next time. Adios.